Hey guys, Profe Pablo here, Spanish teacher turned Minecraft engineer. Sorry I haven't recorded in a couple days. I had kind of a busy week, but I'm ready to get back at it with a trident farm. To build this farm, find an area of open ocean and try and be about 60 blocks I hear away from land. Swim to the bottom of the ocean and build a platform up to the surface. From there, Build all the way up to Y coordinate 125. The number 125 isn't a magic number. I'm just trying to stay far enough away from the ocean so that my drowns don't spawn down there, but spawn up here where I am. Go ahead and build a platform out. I would make it at least four by six. As always, start with the end in mind, place a double chest. This is where your collection system is going to be. Then come back here and place four hoppers going into that chest. From there, build a tube going 24 blocks up. And the number 24 actually is magical here because if you are closer than 24, things just won't spawn. So you have to make sure where you are going to AFK is 24 blocks away from where you want things to spawn. And actually, just to be safe, I'm gonna make my build 25 blocks up. Go ahead and finish the tube. Now this front part of the tube I'm going to make with glass. You are welcome to make it with anything that you want. Okay, I'm actually going to break those two blocks, replace those with solid blocks. Come around here, finish this square. Come to the side of the square and come out eight blocks. Do that on all sides. Take these lines of blocks and connect them making corners. You will get something that looks like that. Fill in each of the corners. When you're done filling in the blocks in, you should have something that looks like this. Now come to a corner, place down a block, Build a wall all the way around. Then come to each corner and place down one, two, three, four, five, six blocks, just like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Or you could do it like this. One, two, three, one, two, one. It's the same pattern. One, two, three, one, two, Okay, take your wall and make it one more high. Okay, now if you're in survival, what I would suggest doing is making an infinite water source. So uh, you can come over here and do a four by four square like that, leaving a two by two in the middle. Place a bucket here and a bucket here, making an infinite water source. And you're going to use that to fill in the corners first. And then you come over here and fill in every block in between the corners on this first row. So here, and then skip a block here. Then you can grab from this block and use that to fill in this block. Or you can grab from your infinite water source. By the time you're done, everything should flow right up to the edge of your tube if you counted your blocks right, except for obviously what is being disturbed by the infinite water source. Now, come to one side of this. We're going to make this thing even wider and come back eight blocks again. Do that on each side. And then fill in the sides all the way up to the side. Just like this. There's probably a more efficient way to do this, but you're basically going to have four wings coming off of this main area. Yeah, so I think the more efficient way to do that is don't start in the middle, but start on one of the corners, and then kind of make the outline like this, and then you can fill it in. Look, I'm already getting fish that are spawning here. You're going to get all kinds of sea life that spawn here. 
Now, using your infinite water source, grab buckets of water and fill in one block, skip a block, fill in a block. Then grab that water, because that's now an infinite water source. Fill in the other block and do every other block like that, where you go one block, grab from there, one block, grab from there, one block, grab from there. You get the point. Do that on each one of these branches. And if you calculated right, each one of those should come right up to the edge, just like that. All right, you are now done with your infinite water, so go ahead and fill it up with blocks and then break all of the blocks. Now to get tridents, we need drowns, and to get drowns, we need shade. Now you're going to need a lot of leaves. So what you could do is make a shade platform that follows the outline of this, uh, but so that I'm not always calculating that, I'm just going to make a giant square. So I'm gonna build these leaves out to here. I'm gonna do that on all four corners. And then from those four corners, I'm going to build up 15 blocks. Then I'm going to connect each of those pillars of leaves. Okay, and once I have that filled in, all I have to do is fill in the roof. Okay, once it's filled in, you now have your shade for your farm and drowns should be able to spawn. The last thing I wanna do is cover up all of this with leaves so that um, mobs don't spawn on the edges. Mobs cannot spawn on leaves, which is why you wanna make that out of leaves as well. Okay, once you're done doing that, go back down to the bottom. And it's gonna be dark down here now, so you might wanna place a few torches. Okay, pretty soon drowns are going to start coming down, so you wanna make sure that you go ahead and finish your collection system. Yep, here they come. Now, the drowns are going to die and they are not going to release very much loot, so we have to fix that. Now, you could do that a couple of ways. One way is to put up a spider web that kind of slows down their fall. You'll wanna do that kind of close to the top here. Um, they will die at about 21 blocks, so if you just make it a few blocks down from the top, I'm gonna do about five blocks down from the top that will slow them down and they won't die right away. That does make your farm a little slower. Make sure that you cover this with glass if you're doing it this way. Um, and you'll want slabs here so that these small drowns don't get out. Then when they come down, you just whack them with the sword and they're more likely to drop stuff when you hit them with the sword. Now there's another method that you can use instead of the spider webs to slow down their fall. See, they get caught. And... and the other method is to use honey blocks. Now the problem with honey blocks is you are also going to need a mine cart with that. But let's get four honey blocks, place them down. Get four rails, place them down here. Get a mine cart with a hopper, place it down and give it a little nudge. Can give it a big nudge. Okay, I didn't like that. There's another option we have here. Get four powered rails because they will not connect in a circle. Place them down. Place down four mine carts with hoppers. I want to do that before you place the honey down. I'm obviously having a little trouble. You're going to replace that honey. I'm going to put down some slabs. And you sh still should be close enough that you can hit the drowns with your sword. Um, if you're not, you can build up one of these sides with some stairs. Now remember, to get them to spawn, you're going to need to stand down here, though, to try and be 24 blocks away. Okay, it does take a little bit of time, but eventually you are going to get tridents in this chest. Let me stand here for just a little bit and see what I can get. By the way, you are also occasionally going to get a dolphin that falls and squids. 
and lots of fish. Also, if you really want to have better luck up here, you can always use an enchanted sword with looting three. Okay guys, I'm not gonna exaggerate this thing. Uh, we have been standing here about 10 minutes and we've only gotten two tridents. Now we have gotten a ton of fish, even more here. I built a little furnace where you can cook some, uh, but we have gotten a lot of fish, a couple pieces of gold. But if you stand here and AFK this thing and let this thing fill up and then go at it, uh, you should get quite a lot of good stuff. Well, guys, thanks for watching this episode on how to make a trident farm. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know this thing would be kind of hard to build in survival, but it's not complicated. Uh, it's just a lot of blocks. Thanks for watching.